What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for popping in to my review for Young Woman and the Sea. This is brought to us from Disney and Jerry Bruckheimer, and it's directed by Joshim Roning, who also directed films like Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, Mistress of Evil, Maleficent, the sequel. Look, this is a movie that had terrible distribution. And when I say distribution, I mean distribution to theaters. And the way this movie was handled and put out was pretty despicable. This movie was supposed to come out in theaters in the end of May. Select theaters, it says on the poster. So it didn't come to any theater near me. My main theater, the Cinemark Theater that I go to, gets basically everything. I mean, they get all the smaller films. They get a bunch of movies that you've probably never heard of, and a smaller movie theater would probably never have gotten. Now, this film, which is a big Disney production, didn't even come to my theater. It was released probably in New York and LA, and that was it. Why? I have no idea. And then they said, you know what? Let's just dump it on Disney+. Plus. If you have Disney+, Plus, you can watch it for, for free. So I think this movie could have gotten a much bigger audience. But maybe their plan all along was Disney+. Plus, you know? But if that's the case, I feel like this movie should have been made for Disney+. Plus. It should have been a Disney+, Plus film, and it should have been released at the end of May on Disney Plus, not in select theaters. You're not going to get hardly any box office with opening extremely limited. So I'm not too sure what the thought process of, of going into this was and their th process of putting it out was, because I feel like it was a big failure. But the movie, let's talk about the movie itself. I watched the film, which, look, I saw the trailer for this. I was like, this is like Disney's Nyad. Nyad is the film that came out last October, I believe, which was also a streaming movie on Netflix with Annette Bening and Jodie Foster, who both received Oscar nominations for their performances in that movie. That was a pretty good movie that I really enjoyed. This film, the trailer, I was like, okay, it feels like a carbon copy. Is this girl the same woman? No. Is she swimming the same distance in the same place? No, but it feels the same. A, a woman is determined to swim from point A to point B. There's going to be problems along the way. She's got to train to get there. I mean, it's very similar. So I thought it was kind of weird that a very similar film is being released. I mean, you can, like a casual movie goer, you know, you can switch these movies up and get confused probably pretty easily. Nyad, I think, is the better movie, though, even after seeing this, where I think this film, you know, I think its biggest issue is Nyad just coming out a few months ago. It's a far superior film with better performances. You know, you're not going to get Oscar nominations from this movie. I think Daisy Ridley is fine as the lead, but I don't think she's great. She's not as charismatic. She's not as determined as Annette Benning was. She's good. I mean, she's giving a good performance, but not a great one. It's a different kind of story. She's got a sister who's swimming, and then Daisy Ridley starts to get better at swimming. She starts winning all these competitions and contests, so now the sister kind of has to support her, which also kind of reminded me of Zendaya's role in Challengers, which also came out earlier this year. She was doing very good at tennis, breaks her ankle, or whatever she does, and now Mike Feist, she's, she's kind of leaning back to be more of a trainer for Mike Feist's character. So it's just similar similarities that I see, you know, of all these movies. So it didn't really feel original, even though that it is a, you know, original story. This did really happen. And at the end of the film, you do see black and white brief images and brief moments of actual history. So I thought that was pretty cool. But the movie itself, I mean, it opens strong and it ends strong. But I thought the middle of it was really boring and just kind of uninteresting. And it just felt like things I've seen before. Like, I know where this is going. I just feel like it wasn't as original or new or different. And when I saw the movie Nyad a couple months ago, I did feel that there was more of an emotional soul to the movie 
this I just feel like was very straightforward. But I can't see myself ever watching this again. If I want to watch a movie like this, I'm going to Nyad. I'm not going to this. I, I mean, it's just the way it is. If you've seen both movies, you're going to, you know, Nyad is going to be the movie that you're going to want to rewatch. But I could be wrong about that. That's just me personally. So I'm very indifferent to this movie. I'm very in the middle of the road on it. I didn't really like it a lot. I didn't dislike it. But it's not a film that I can see myself watching again. It's three out of five stars. And it's disappointing as well with Joshua Roning directing this film. You know, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie he did was better than this. I didn't really care for that Maleficent sequel that much, but I think that movie might be probably more entertaining than this was. Overall, I don't know. I just thought it was there, and, you know, am I happy I watched it? Yes. I do feel like I am happy that I watched this movie, but did I get much from it? No. I got more from Nyad. Now, you're going to probably say, well, you can't be comparing this to Nyad so much. Yes, I can. These movies are so identical and so similar, you can you can compare them. So that's where I'm at with Young Woman in the Sea. Guys, comment down below. Do you plan on seeing this movie? It's on Disney Plus now. So if you have Disney Plus, check it out. Then if you have Netflix, check Nyad out. And then comment down below and let us know what movie you liked more. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got a big review coming in less than a week. It's Deadpool and Wolverine. Don't worry, no spoilers in the video. It'll be a non-spoiler movie review. I'm very excited to see that. I can't wait. It's just a few days away. It's becoming just a few days away. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. A bunch of other stuff coming in the future as well. And guys, you can follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Young Woman and the Sea. And until next time, over and out.